Hey, what's going on, Appliance Bootcamp? Mike Sneed coming to you live. I'm going to give YouTube a few minutes. Uh, and I'll give everybody a chance to kind of cool down for, uh, from what Mona and them got going on over there uh, and Mona in the middle. Uh, crazy what people do these days for these, uh, uh, these trolls and stuff like that. I want to thank everybody for actually joining in. Um, I'm going to give a link to the actual description. That's a link to the actual description. Uh, today's been a, a, a good day for me. Um, uh, for all that all that I had going on, I actually had uh, I actually had uh, one of my service trucks. It actually went down yesterday. Uh, so I'm in the process right now, looking for one of my service vehicles. Uh, it's funny. I always kept an extra service vehicle here, and um, I, I decided, hey, I'm cleaning stuff up, and I actually gave, uh, I actually gave my uh, my backup service vehicle to uh, to one of the young men that used to work with me. They didn't have a vehicle, so I actually gave him my backup service vehicle, and the vehicle I, I gave one to my nephew, and uh, so I was just getting rid of vehicles I had here, and unfortunately, the, uh, we had one of the service vehicles go down yesterday. So my little kid now is out there being served. Uh, he's doing service calls on him, and I'm actually gotta find another service vehicle. Uh, so I'll look for that uh, next week. Uh, get another service vehicle. But uh, like I say, it's been a, it's been a fun week. Uh, today I got to spend some time with my mom. Um, one of the benefits of being an entrepreneur and being able to control your own schedule. Uh, she has to go to doctor's appointments now. Um, my brothers and sisters, they uh, they actually have to. They have to work, and sometimes their schedules uh, just doesn't permit them to be able to take her. Uh, so uh, with that, she can tell me what day she needs to go, and I have no problem. I, I have a good relationship with my employer, and uh, I can go ask him for the time off, and he'll give me the time off to go take her. And I don't have to be rushed. So today, I, uh, I didn't have to be rushed. I can take her. Uh, after we go to her doctor's appointment, we always stop and grab something to eat, get to have some great conversations. On the way back, uh, uh, after taking my mom to uh, to the doctor's office, I actually stopped by. Let me see if I can pull it, uh, pull up a picture. I stopped by uh, on the way back. I, I was actually having to uh, go by the young. I was I was not far from the young lady. I just helped start an ice cream parlor. So uh, what I've done, I done, I I just kind of snuck in and, and peeked my head in, just kind of see how she was doing with her ice cream parlor and uh let's see here i thought i uh uploaded them up and um let's see if i can get them up so i actually uh stopped in to see how she was doing with her ice cream parlor and uh I was so happy to, to go by there and see uh see okay. I was actually happy to stop through there and actually see see uh how uh how it was. I'm gonna share the screen so you can see. But she was actually out there uh, pretty much her ice cream parlor pretty much out operating the way mine is. So if you can see the uh, the screen, uh, there you go. That's her ice cream parlor, and uh, she had a daycare there. Uh, somebody had brought the daycare there, and there you can see uh, they was they was filled up. And I stopped in, and I I was, I was just glad to uh, to see that she's doing well. Uh, so uh, so I ran by there, saw saw that, uh, talked to her for a little bit, and and from there. I came back, and she's also in the process of doing pretty much the same. It's funny how, how when you start doing this type of stuff, how you you kind of act, you, you kind of get, get start going down the same road and think about the same thing. Um, as you all know, uh, uh, the, the, on Monday I was going out to get a concession trailer. Uh, I went out to go get one. Uh, I put three thousand dollars down on it. I was going to go pick it up on Tuesday. I called uh, to ask uh, 
uh, make sure that the concession trailer I get, if it would be uh, okay for me to do the ice cream out of. Um, I had, uh, not, after I talked to the uh, the people uh, at the Department of Agriculture, I found out there were some other things that I needed in there. If I was going to have it where it's going to be standalone, that uh, they didn't have. And if I would have had them to add it into that concession trailer, it would, it would got close to about $20,000. Uh, so what I've done, uh, I called them up and said, hey, owe my $3,000. Uh, I think I, I won't be able to use it the way it is, but I might have to have y'all to upfit it. Um, so, but in the same time, I started looking, um, going over to Facebook, looking for stuff, and I found an actual uh, old carnival trailer. Um, that's what you saw uh, on the actual uh, we saw it on the actual thumbnail. I found an old carnival trailer, and the carnival trailer it pops up and it is mobile. It has a full kitchen inside of it. It has everything. It just needs to be uh, updated. So I called a guy and, and he he was ready to sell it. And uh, I drove to Virginia <laughs> uh, on uh, Tuesday uh, to look at it. I purchased it. Um, this uh, this trailer cost me eighty five hundred dollars. It, it came with the ice cream freezers, all of everything's working. Just need to be updated. So I brought it back, uh, took it over to the, uh, the people who does the wraps for my vehicles and stuff. Uh, they're going to wrap it for me. We, we're in the process now coming up with a scheme to wrap it. And so I came back today and actually talked to my son uh, and my wife and, you know, just talking to them about how we want the truck, to, uh, the concession trailer to look. Um, how we're going to actually get this thing up and going and uh, how this now is going to allow us to have like two two areas where we will operate in the actual ice cream parlor and we'll operate mobile and um and, and get this money going and my son is, is, is crazy now I told you my son he, he does have some special needs but I, regardless of what I've still been teaching him business teaching them business just like I would teach you all and uh, it was funny when, uh, when I was showing him the trailer, today was the first day he was in the trailer, he was asking me serious questions. He wanted to know how much we invested <laughs> because it's his money too. He wanted to know how much money we invested in his trailer. So I told him $8,500. And then from there, I had to explain to him um, how much money we're going to make. And I said, we put $8,500 into it. Uh, from here, we're going to go start looking for events and we're going to have it out every weekend. And every weekend, I want to be able to do somewhere between uh, three to maybe $4,000 out of that trailer, um, going to different events, bringing it back. And so from there, he was like, yeah, that's a good investment. So he knows what's a good investment is. So he, he was happy. At first, he had told me this was my project. He wasn't going to help me. But after I explained to him what we we're going to do, he decided now he's going to help me with his project. And this kind of goes into what I'm talking about tonight, about how you can use uh, appliance repair as the actual um, – uh, use appliance repair to, to start uh, building your wealth snowball. And I say a wealth snowball. Uh, I mean, uh, kind of like they said, a debt snowball with Dave Ramsey, when you start paying off debt, and as you pay one small one off, it rolls up, and you pay another one off and another one, and it starts to get bigger and bigger until you have this huge thing of debt that you're paying off. But the same thing happens when you start building wealth. Uh, you can use your appliance repair business to actually start to build wealth. And that's exactly what I've done. My appliance repair business kicks off enough cash so that when um, I, 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 I go out here and I got to go start other businesses, uh, I have the actual cash flow from my appliance repair business that I don't have to be worried about the, uh, the new business like my uh, ice cream parlor uh, being strong enough to actually support itself and to pay, pay payroll to, to, to make investment. Like this, this right here is another huge investment. We, um, before it's all said and done, we probably have 12, maybe 13, I'm, I'm going to say 12 to 15,000 that we have invested and in getting getting us into uh, going off site. Um, and so, you know, that's, that's a substantial amount of investment for uh, a fairly new business. But it's a good thing that we're right now in the middle of a business season where we got a lot of cash coming in, we got good sales, and I'm able to pull it off now and get that up and running. And then next year, we'll be able to uh, to really capitalize because we'll be able to go pick and choose a lot of the events. I didn't realize um, how big the, uh, it is to be mobile. 
Uh, they have Facebook groups that you can actually go into, and you have people constantly looking for uh, begging for food trucks to come there, um, and especially desserts. You have a lot of people doing the food truck, not many people doing desserts. So they might have two or three uh, food trucks, but they want a dessert there. Uh, so um, I say, hey, I, I can bring my ice cream there, homemade ice cream, and 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 they're like, sure, man, we gotta have that. Come on in. So even though if they got the regular food trucks there, uh, they like they always got room for a dessert truck to actually sneak into the middle. And um, and so it, it, it's something that we're going to be able almost like opening up a, a really a second location that we can actually push out. And it gives us a lot more uh, uh, visibility within the area where people actually see us. And if they, they like those um, those uh, things that we have in the truck, the items, I can then pull them back into the storefront. But that's what our, our plant repair business can do. Um, you might not be somebody who wants to who spend your whole life repairing appliances. But you can use this appliance repair business to actually catapult you into where you can actually uh, get to do what you really want to do. Um, and so uh, that's one of the things I, I have that I'm constantly talking to my um, my daughters and my son, uh, sister-in-laws, family members. That, hey, uh, we got this thing rolling right now. You know, um, and even the, even the, the, my nephews and, and, and men, I tell them. Hey, I can show you how to start an appliance repair business, and from there you can actually do whatever you want. Um, you, you can, you can, uh, you could actually, you know, if, if 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 say for instance I don't particularly like it, but if wrapping is your thing, uh, you can actually repair uh, uh, repair appliances, and then that gives you enough free time and give you enough money where you can go out and and maybe push your wrap career. Or a, a, a not have to depend so much on the rap career to make it. Tyran, as you all know, he's a, a R&B singer, and um, and he does appliance repair. And he, now we were talking, he's doing fairly well with his appliance repair business. You know, he's doing it in the afternoons, but he get off work, and um, and in between that, he he's doing um, he's doing his gigs and whatnot. So it actually working. Man, I, every time I come here, I open the door. To get stuff in here, and I get these cow flops. Anyway, he uh, he actually doing real good now. Where he's actually uh, can go out and do his gigs. Where he uh, he does his singing gigs. He can still run his supplies repair business, and uh, and, and 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 support his family. There's no longer where you could be like this starving artist. Same thing. Uh, you know, uh, this gives uh, my appliance repair business gives me ability to actually sit down and actually. Uh, 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 pour it to my kids. Uh, they don't, uh, you know, my daughters, uh, my older daughter might be liking uh, the appliance repair business, at, like an entrepreneurship. My younger daughter ain't quite so yet. She's uh, she's still, uh, she's very liberal. I say that. She's very liberal. She, if, if it's up to her, uh, she said I can afford to give away ice cream. So she wants me to give ice cream away. Uh, but, uh, uh, she's very liberal, but she hasn't quite got the entrepreneur book yet. Um, but uh, my son, as you all know, it, you know, it's been a struggle to keep him from wanting to quit and, and go work for Amazon and do stuff like that. But uh, uh, I, 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 I get to work with him every day, get to talk to him, and he's now starting uh, to see the fruits of it. Where, uh, like now, he, uh, uh, I let him actually come up, give me three flavors of ice cream. He go look at. I have different ice cream, go try to different places. And he get to come up with three flavors that he'll like for me to actually bring in for a new flavor of the month. And that's uh uh and that's what you you wanna do. You wanna uh you wanna be able to have time to really pour into your kids to actually make sure that they, they're getting what they need to have in order to survive. And like I say, this right here uh is uh appliance repair. If it wasn't for appliance repair, I wouldn't be able to do it. And it's something that uh, I thank God for every day, where I can actually do that. I, at the age, uh, I'm in a position now where I can spend time with my mom early on and give her what she needs and get her out. And, and she don't have to worry about uh, if I'm taking time off of work, if I'm going to get fired, all that stuff. Don't have to worry about um, able to uh, uh, spend time with her, get her to her appointments. Then I'm able to stop by, see family and friends that, um, that I might have uh, helped with their uh, with their development, with their businesses and stuff, and stop in and say hi to them. 
and then I can leave there and come back and um, spend time with my immediate family and actually show them about entrepreneurship and helping build um, build wealth and creating a legacy. And I want you all to feel that same thing. Uh, like I say, we're in the process of uh, um, with Keith, where we're going to be going out. I saw Mona um, talking about uh, her uh, the young guys and is coming through her class out of high school. Uh, I'm gonna be teaming up, um, teaming up with Keith, and that's one of the places I'm gonna be uh, um, really focusing on. I'm gonna be really focusing on high school, community college, and then the universities. Going out there and getting those uh, young kids and stuff. They might not be quite mature enough at that age. Uh, I know I wasn't uh, mature enough to actually uh, run my uh, my own business at that time. Um, I won't. I won't mature enough to do it. I'll be honest with you. Um, but um, if you have somebody that can actually guide you there and make the transition where you have an intermediate step, like my son right now, um, he's not. Uh, he's not able to actually run the business all on his own. My daughters are not able to run the business all on their own, but they have an even intermediate step with me, where um, I'm at, where I'm actually doing pretty much all of the back end. They're out there on the front lines. And they're actually seeing a lot of the rewards from having this business. Where that's what um, myself and Keith, that's what we're going to come up and team up together. Where um, they'll put you out there on the front lines, um, let you start getting out there making some money, uh, making great money. Be making the same amount of money that uh, I pay my subs. That's what you'll be making. Uh, so you can make it somewhere between 75 uh, from the, uh, the numbers that they're going to be paying. The same thing that I pay my subs. Um, and so with that, you can make it seventy-five to eighty-five thousand a year, depending on how much you want to uh, you want to uh, push it. That's great for somebody coming straight out of high school. Um, that you can take a weekend course, and uh, they they're gonna sign you up, and they're gonna make you pretty much a sub uh, for them. And uh, and I'm gonna get them trained up and, and get them up and running. And from there, uh, you be going out here. Somebody straight out of high school making seventy-five, eighty-five thousand a year. Somebody right out of college making seventy five, eighty five thousand a year. Then you take that and you start bringing in uh, little uh, calls of your own and, and building your business up. Start getting your website. It's an easy transition for you to get into for those younger crowds to get into actually becoming an entrepreneur, uh, where we actually start pushing them out into entrepreneurship. Uh, so that's the stuff that I'm gonna be doing with them. I'm looking forward to it. So that way in the future. Uh, we have a lot more of these entrepreneurs, and we won't have so many people depending on other people. Um, uh, I was totally, uh, I, like I said, I have to be careful talking because uh, I have a lot of people who actually watch the channel. A lot, of, a lot of people local now watch the channel, and I have to be careful. Uh, but I was talking, and I, uh, I was asking, uh, I was asking some, I've been asking people, who, who are the, uh, what, the, what can I do to get the to get the African American people back downtown to interact and, and to and to be be part of the of what's going what's what's coming up what's coming up so what's happening right now all across America America is changing and the uh, and 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 the demographics are changing um, there are new millionaires being created every day uh, there's new development coming every day they're pushing down a lot of the old stuff or they they're, they're renovating a lot of the old stuff. To bring it up to the new, uh, the new, the new, uh, the, bring it up to 2022. Unfortunately, um, when I go talk to uh, a lot of the, a lot of us this uh, here that's, that's not doing that well, we're still stuck in 1950s and 1940s and 1960s. Um, they're, they're still mad about stuff that happened um, even before they were born, but stuff that grandparents. Um, at this point, stuff that grandparents called, uh, talked to, told them, you know, um, uh, and, uh, and, and then they can't let it go. Um, I was asking them, well, what can you do? Well, we want the business owners. They wanted us, this was one person told me, they wanted us to actually, uh, have to be able to set aside money, uh, to give to the, to their kids, give to the youth to actually be able to do sports and stuff like that. You know, um, and I was telling them, um, uh, I, I paid for my own kids you know, <laughs> to do this. When I, when I had to go, uh, my kids wanted to do sports. I had to pay for my own kids to, to do sports. Um, and, and you know, I, I know 
uh, right now you might not have the money to do it and stuff, but I don't want to make it so that um, that you're comfortable in poverty. I want you to, to, to live the same life that I live. I don't want to make it so that you can so that you can just survive in poverty and, and, and not have to sell to get out of it and, and do better. Uh, so I was telling them, um, why not y'all come together and put your money together? It don't take much to put together a basketball team. Don't take much to put together a baseball team. Football is a little different when you start talking about the equipment. But basketball and football and baseball doesn't, or soccer it doesn't take much to put together one of those teams and, uh, and, and 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 get out there and start doing something with them. Um, they asked me, <clears throat> asked me would I be willing to mentor. <laughs> I was like, Jesus Christ! I, I I said I got three kids, I got a wife. <laughs> I got over 1,400 people in the Fonz boot camp that I mentor. Uh, y'all got to go grab somebody else to mentor because I just, I just can't mentor nobody else. You know, they welcome to come through here and we can talk. But uh, for me to come in and actually, uh, and you bring them in here, not just get up here and give a speech or something, that's not going to do much to nobody. Uh, it's going to require discipleship. But somebody got to be really invested in that person and, and work with them every day. I said, right now, I got my son and my daughters. I, I'm pouring into. Um, uh, if I if I if I go get their kids, who's gonna pour into mine at this moment? Uh, you can bring the bring uh, bring the, uh, the parents by and let me kind of talk to them because you know, like I always tell people, you know, regardless of how uh, you don't treat, if you get a bad apple off a tree, you don't treat the apple. The apple, <laughs> you don't need to treat the apple. You gotta treat the tree that's creating these bad fruits. So you might need to bring the adults in here um, and, and, and get them talking. And I'm going to say this, too. Um, this is something, too, that we're talking about. Um, and it, it really hurt my, It really hurt me. Uh, the daycare. Um, There's a daycare and the library. Uh, they actually, done a, they actually um, didn't do anything. They had to stop doing Father's Day cards and stuff because none of the kids knew who their dads were. And, um, and it, it was such a touchy subject and, and kids were crying because they didn't know who the dads were that they decided they, they just rather they're not going to do father's day because they don't have fathers and um i thought that was bad i said y'all just gonna totally get away from father's day well most of them don't know who their dads are or the dad's not involved and didn't have uncles or any grandfathers they have nobody that they could uh give cards to and so they just said we just stopped doing it and they're gonna start what they call parents day they they say instead of saying fathers they just say parents day, you know. And, and I, I was like, man, this is crazy. And all of that stems from the fact that uh, I think of uh, lack of wealth. Um, when I, I tell everybody, uh, when I was uh, when I was broke and um, and um, I was having to have to pay child support and stuff like that, I thought that was the worst thing in the world because I didn't have no money. I thought that was the reason I was broke. Um, it wasn't until I actually got into entrepreneurship and got to the point where uh, I was able to get to a point where child support didn't hurt me. Um, it, 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 you know, it, where I, I made an, um, it was funny, I was, um, I was telling my wife that, you know, it, it, you know, at that time when I was really out there getting it, really getting it, you know, I could have supported four or five families. And it, wouldn't, it wouldn't have bothered me with a fly repair. Uh, it wouldn't have bothered me not one bit. I can I couldn't even tell, you know, Child support wasn't wasn't a, wasn't an issue for me, and it became something. Um, w- once I got my appliance repair business <clears throat> up and running, and I, I I learned entrepreneurship, it became something a sense of pride to be able to say I pay all the bills for my kids. I, you know, I pay all the bills for the people in my house. You know, I I, I pay for everything, and that became a sense of pride, and um, that that you didn't want to give away. And I think if most most men ever got to the point where they could do that. They'll see, you know, it, it, this uh, uh, that you take you take honor in being able to say that. It doesn't mean you're a simp and somebody getting over them. It just means you're the man. And and and, and, uh, and like I say, it it, it it does something too. Uh, when you're gonna get some times if you if you've been married, uh, you've been married uh, quite a while. You know, I'm, I'm 21 years going on 22 years. I've been married. You know, um, it comes a time where uh, that right there might be the, the thing to keep them there. Uh, uh, I, uh, I was laughing, talking with somebody, you know, uh, uh, you know, like everybody, you, you run through some rough patches here and there, 
but I'll tell them, you know, it's kind of like that song of Beyonce uh, saying, uh, was it, uh, ah, I forget the name of it. Uh, uh, God knows what's the name of the song, Beyonce song. Uh, uh, where she's talking about, uh, uh, if I let you go, you're gonna, uh, she's gonna be driving the, uh, the, the coupe. And you can be having VBS and all that. Uh, ah, I can't even think of the name of the song. But anyway, Beyonce sang the song when she's talking about she uh, she want to leave Jay Z, but she leaves. You know, somebody else can be driving that 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 new car. Somebody else can be having on the chichilla uh, jacket. They can be driving uh, having these diamonds and and, and they ain't gonna no, she ain't gonna she ain't gonna just uh, uh, ring the alarm. That's that's the name. I think it's ring the alarm or something like that. Uh, she's not gonna. Uh, she's not gonna just let them go and somebody else step in and get out of that. Uh, and that's the day going true. Um, when you get to a point where you can, you're able to pay for all of that through a plant repair. It, it makes them think twice before they start pushing you off to the side. And sometimes before they get real slick with you, they think twice about it. They say, okay, I can leave, but somebody else is gonna be stepping in here and they're gonna have all these nice things that I'm able to get right now. And matter of fact, let's just uh, let's just leave that alone. And, and, and work this thing out. So that's that's the way I want you all to get. I want you all to uh, to get to that point where um, from your appliance repair business, you're able to pay for everything. You're able to pay for your uh, uh, kids' private school if you want to. I was able to do that. You would be able to pay for your kids if they want to do these travel uh, teams and stuff. You're able to do that uh, and, and not have to be doing no fish fries selling plates and selling donuts in order for them to go. Um, you know, you know, you don't, uh, that was one thing uh, with the teams. If uh, our team never had to do that, um, my daughter done competitive uh, cheerleading. Um, so no, wasn't nobody selling no, no uh, donuts and you weren't doing no car washes. To do it. I, I got too much stuff to do. What's the price? We just pay it and we'll see y'all there. Um, um, if I had to be with a team and we're going to be washing cars and stuff on the weekends, like, yo, I ain't, I ain't going. I, ain't, I don't even sign me up. Just tell me my, my thing and let me pay. Uh, I do that with some of the organizations where uh, I'm in. Um, they want to do fundraisers and stuff. I, uh, I, I got to be careful. I got to be careful saying this right here. But uh, I, I'm going to go ahead and say it. <laughs> uh, some, of, some of the organizations I'm in, they want to do fundraisers. These would be professional men. That's in these organizations, and you no, know, you professional men with you know highly educated and stuff. Whatever the organization needs, <laughs> just just say hey, we need this. And everybody cut the check and go. I'm not gonna be selling no fish plates. I'm not gonna be out there selling no, no raffle tickets. I don't I don't I don't want to do that. I just want to pay the cash. And if they're gonna do something like that, I do, I, I give the cash and say hey, I don't want no tickets. Y'all do what y'all want to do. <laughs> I just I just I just don't want to do that. Um, just what's the price? To do what we need to do. Let me know, and I'll do it. Hey, we got uh, we got old Slick in here. Let me bring him in. I gotta be careful. I gotta be careful bringing you in, man. Uh, I ain't know if you'd be like something they doing with Mona the channel and all that stuff going on. <laughs> can you hear me? Hey, hey. Right, can yeah, you hear me you now? Can... Yeah, you gotta be careful bringing. Me in. <laughs> what's how going you on, man? Man, much. How you feel? Doing good, man. Get that uniform on. Yeah, Ain't no bunch of boxes. Good lord, how many how many calls you got? You got uh you got a tub back there? Yeah, I got three tubs and uh, a bunch of boxes. This wow. ain't you know this ain't even the main van. The main van's sitting in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> man, yeah. I thought you were slowing down. Man, I um Dealing with this trailer, man, take a lot of time, and uh, I have to double up on some days so uh -huh. I can be so I can be free another day. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I, I doubled up today, and uh, clo I closed a lot out though. I'm, I'm, let me let me ask you this: you you got a lot going on right now. How how are you able to uh, to support your family, and you're able to go out here and, and pour money into getting this trailer and developing that land. How are you able to do all of that? And uh, do you do you have a, a a regular nine to five? Yeah, I work for you. 
<laughs> how are you able to do that and not not have no no W two job? Appliance repair, man. The work the work is there. The, yeah. the work is there. If you if you push through, um, I ain't never really had a, like a slow slow time. Uh, I've had times where it slow up, mm -hmm. but uh, I've never had like a slow slow time. And those times when when it slowed up, it gave me opportunity to. Uh, I mean, it. I don't know. It just magically works out, man. It magically, <laughs> it magically works out because you'll be. You say, man, I ain't got but two calls today, right? Uh -huh. You you be and you get in your van. You go do your two calls before you can come home. You didn't got two more calls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it, it all magically works out. It's it's pretty busy, but nah. upon, it, it kick off enough money to. <clears throat> to do some things, you know. Have you got to the point with your projects, the other projects you got going, where they're starting to they're starting to link up and, and come together? Man, I don't know, man. I, I, I don't. It's, it's gonna come. It's gonna come. It, you're gonna you're gonna get to a breakthrough. Right now, it just seems like you're just constantly behind the ball. You pushing for stuff. <laughs> you pushing stuff. You pushing stuff. <laughs> but what's gonna happen? Eventually, you're gonna break through. You're gonna get on to the top of that hill and it's gonna crash. They're going to start coming down. Everything going to start lining up and running. Like, mines are starting to line up and run now. Where I, uh, I got to go close on my uh, fence stand a little bit on my uh, land next week. And then uh, from there, I'm going to have the houses pushed down. I'm going to put my gravels and stuff uh, uh, out. So it's starting to catch up. But what I, what I always mess up, once I get things running exactly like I want it, I can put my hands all around. I throw another damn ball in there. <laughs> and then I try to juggle that ball and stuff. I should just leave it alone, but well, this time I'm just gonna leave it alone. Once I once I once I get this one down, I'm leaving it alone. Well, I tell you what, I was talking to uh, my my business mentor, uh -huh. D, uh, D D C N F. D C N F. Uh huh. And I was telling him what I was gearing to, because you know I showed you that building that that building I was talking about. Uh huh. I was going to get it. You were. Yeah, I was going to get it. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And then some said, listen, man, you got like four projects going on right now. <laughs> <laughs> and, and some said, just just finish, just finish, finish them and then take a break before I do something else. Uh -huh. Plus the price, the price was the price was okay, right? Uh -huh. the, the price of the building wouldn't have hurt me, right? Yeah, I looked at the price. It, it wasn't a bad price. No, nah, it, it, the price wouldn't have hurt me. My money outside of Outside of appliance repair, my money coming in could have handled the price, right? Uh -huh. But it, it had just been something else on the table. Because, mm -hmm. you know, uh, once, you know, we talked and, you, you know, you told me how much money you're pulling off from the ice cream parlor, right? Uh -huh. I said, okay. Bet. So I figured I could do that. But then I thought about it, man. I just, but I still think, because see, I could do two things with that lot, right? <laughs> <laughs> I want I want it. I, I know I could do two things with that lot. Mm -hmm. Um uh, it just ain't I, I just don't feel like uh I don't want to juggle nothing else right now. But appliance repair, it, it ain't it ain't going nowhere. Nah. Nah, it ain't going nowhere. When you times when you think, uh man, uh, you know, uh, let me get out of this. I don't you, you somebody call you throw some rollers on a dryer or belt, yeah. you going. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, they all can't be gas, you know, door gaskets. But, you know, yeah. you know, in Sunday, you know, like today I did like, I don't know. I did I did six different houses, right? Uh, you got six stops today. Yeah, but I did several appliances at a couple of houses. Uh-huh. Like some of them had, one of them had three. Wow, and, uh, and a couple of them had two, right? Mm -hmm. So I touched a lot of stuff today, but um, I still, I really ain't that. I, I guess it took, a, it takes a while for you to get used to it, you know, because it ain't so taxing on my mind. It ain't, I ain't worried so much about the appliance. Mm -hmm. so I used to be worried, man. I, I got to fix. I got to fix. I got to fix. Mm -hmm. You know, I, but you know, I went out pre-diagnosed. Mm -hmm. That's my. And, you know, you look at the machine 
and the, you listen to what the customer say. And you you know you pre diagnose, you pick up parts or whatever. You get there and it ain't even that same issue. Just the customer just I don't know. The customer say, yeah, my stove ain't cooking. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I say, hey man, if you if they want to be like that, I pre-diagnose our best I can. I bought this, bought what I thought it would be. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, now I got to take some stuff back to the store, but I mean, you know, that's okay. You know, they got they pay for it, and they gonna pay good. Yeah. Um, so this appliance repair business, man, it's nice. Like I didn't have to work all day today, but I don't want to do nothing tomorrow. I want to, uh-huh. yeah, I want to go rent a trencher and dig a trench for my water line. Yeah, see that's that's the that's the problem I have right now. I got I got stuff I need to do. That I got stuff that I want to do. <laughs> and a lot of times I let what I want to do get in, get in replace what I need to do. Well, I got a, I got a weekend job too though. I play you know I play for the church full time. Right. So, so why, have, do you, why do you practice that? Where you when you practice with the uh, group? Saturday mornings. Oh, that ain't bad. So whoever's saying the Sunday, you practice Saturday morning. Saturday morning and then Sunday and then you know Sunday morning so it's like I don't have a, a actual I've been seven days since I started when I met you man my life went down here <laughs> okay <laughs> I met you I'm bad I'm bad for people <laughs> I've been seven days for a couple of years now you know oh, yeah yeah but I mean you know I ain't complaining because it doesn't, doesn't feel like work it don't feel like work every day. It don't. Yeah. It don't feel like work every day. Some days it feels like work. Some days it feel like, man, I got, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Some days you feel like that. Other days you feel like, you know, let me go get this money, mm-hmm. you know? And, uh, but I got good, I got a good team around me. I got mm-hmm. good people I can call on. I was very fortunate. I think timing worked out for me. Mm-hmm. Like, I had good timing because I was in the class with you know Ms. Ward, DCNL, uh, 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 oh Greg was in the class. I had good yeah. timing. I had good timing. Mm. I think I I you know every class is great, but I I feel like I had good timing and I was able to connect with some good people mm. at that class and everything. I don't know how other classes do. I'm sure they talk too. Yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they what uh what they uh y'all call it uh ABC ten or something like that or well that's Corey and them but I talked to I talked to them every now and then yeah too. uh but I, I think timing worked out for me I think location works out for me uh and then, I haven't heard from Corey in a while how he doing Corey doing good man he uh he still terminating yeah you know Corey Rich man yeah. <laughs> Corey been rich. Corey was Corey was rich when he came. Yeah. Yeah. Corey had an idea. Man, Corey, Corey helped me out a lot. Corey helped me out. Corey say these little small nuggets, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and they end up being real big for me. But he'd been in business for I don't know how many years. Yeah, he been in business. He was in business a long time before he came. Yeah, yeah. he was great in marketing too. Yeah, yeah, he 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 great at marketing and you know, I think we all can make it, man. If we if we, pro- if we promise ourselves to do the work. Yeah, all y'all doing great, man. Y'all yeah. are doing great. Yeah, that's um. I was talking to somebody. I know. I forget. I know who it was. I ain't gonna call their name. But that was one of the things uh, he was talking about. He was like, uh, he, he he took the class, but then he 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 helped somebody else start. Uh, help one of his boys start a, a appliance repair business. And boy, is doing better than him <laughs> in the appliance repair business. Now I was like, I was like, that's what happens when you uh, when you mentor somebody. They, the person you mentor, you letting them get in front of you in line. And you know, you don't wait it and, and done all the hard work, and you telling them to come get in front of you. They always going to do better than you. And uh, I was telling them, you can't you can't get mad and you can't feel some type of way because that's that's what you do. They, you 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 go further. You you go. And let somebody go in and go a little further and, and, and get a little faster than you are, but you can learn something from them because uh, uh, they'll come back and teach you stuff. You all, uh, plenty of you all, have done way more in appliance repair than I ever could dream of, and y'all, I learned from you all now about appliance repair. Yeah, but the blueprint gave me the uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, uh, 
he gave the foundation to get in. But I burnt all my I burnt all my energy and stuff uh, getting getting the twenty year getting the blueprint. So uh, I uh, I don't have the energy to run anymore and don't have the desire to run. You all coming in with fresh legs, so you all supposed to do. Well, yeah, the blueprint the blueprint is solid, man. The, mm -hmm. I mean, put the blueprint, man. You can almost put the blueprint on on your life, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, is it, it, it is my life. It is my life. Yeah, 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 that's your whole. I mean, you can put it in every aspect of your life because it, it'll, it'll affect everything. It, you know, I always had my own little thing where I was making money, right? Always, mm -hmm. always. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I never had nothing like a plan repair to just kick off cash, just so rapid. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's rapid too, man. I mean, mm -hmm. you, can, you. Can, I remember when we first started. You, you remember you say you can leave the house with zero and, and uh -huh. go couple hundred dollars uh like right away right and you know that's it really is true and then you yeah. got man oh, man you got cod's you got companies it's all <laughs> types of money it's, it's just all types of way to get the money and you can get it man now i i paid a hundred and something dollars worth of gas um because i got a 25 gallon tank in this game in this mm -hmm. van mm -hmm. And I, I was listening to the people complain <laughs> <laughs> at the game, right? Uh -huh. And I was like, "Man, I know what I'm gonna do today." <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just, I just took my price up, right? Uh huh. Yeah, because I mean, you really do have to take your price up. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, your your business allows for you to do that. Uh, yeah, so that, that's something I never, I never gonna stand when I would hear service people complaining. About the the get cost of gas, it get passed on to the customer, you know. So the, the gas don't bother me. Mm, no, it don't bother me either. I mean, cause I'm gonna drive this van, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna drive this van, cause I mean, what I'm gonna do? Buy a Prius and chat now. Nah. <laughs> you see what's in this van? Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna drive this van, and I'm gonna go get this money. So I mean. Mm -hmm. It that's just the way it is, yeah. but uh, yeah, it's been good, man. I can't, I, I ain't really got no complaints about it. Just, just being busy, being busy all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like, but you know, when I ain't busy, I want to be busy. So yeah, yeah. Uh, and I get, uh, I get to come home and, you know, watch the kids play basketball. You saying? Yeah, they're playing basketball. Uh -huh. I got four kids in the yard. If they need some, <laughs> you know, they know they got. They know I. They know I can pay for it. There you go. <laughs> my son, uh, my youngest boy. Now he he ride with me some days. Mm -hmm. uh, everything working good, man. You, I ain't got no complaints. I ain't got no complaints at all. This is a great, great career. Great career. Great career. Roscoe, you see Mike. Look at Mike. He he the, he the one that buy your food. Yeah, that's a summer dog, ain't it? Yeah, some of this and some of that. Some of that, yeah. Hey, old mutt. <laughs> yeah. I love appliance repair, man. I, I ain't gonna tell no. I don't think I ever stopped doing it. Nah, I, I keep saying I'm stopping, but I, I I'm thinking I'm gonna jump in the truck. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try. I'm, I'm gonna try to do a series where I can turn try to turn three to four thousand a weekend in that little uh ice cream trailer uh for uh for the course but uh if uh if not i'm gonna jump back in the truck and go, go get my money back but I, i'm gonna try to make it in that little ice cream trailer three four thousand a month no we can i'm gonna try to do it on saturday and sunday you can do it at the state fair but i don't know if you're just gonna do sitting on the corner i don't know uh, I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna be going to events that um try to get events that have somewhere between uh, uh, nine hundred to fifteen hundred people there. Oh. Uh, okay. I, I mean, you ain't gonna have no ice cream in the trolleys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, I hope, I, when I leave, I hope I don't. But I'm, gonna, I I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to do it to show people that you can do it. Um, and uh, just going out on the weekends, knocking it out. What uh? Okay. Well, you, I mean, you got the golden hand. Seems like everything you do work out. So. Nah. <laughs> you, got the, you got the mightiest touch. So. Nah. The, uh, 
That, that's why I, that's why after this one, I said I'm done. After this one, I'm slowing down. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't think you. I, I I wonder what the other people are doing. You know, I know some people are doing other little businesses, but it's hard to do another. I don't know how you're doing another business while you're doing the pine repair. Elijah, if you gotta go out and do the repairs and stuff, you can't. You you can't. You don't really need to, to be honest. Um, you know, um, you you really can't do it because uh, it, it's so uh, it's so much work out there. Uh, but if you got somebody out there, you got one or two subs out there, it does start to free up your time a lot. Where you can go and create another business that doesn't require you to be there every day. And um, and then that's when that's when it really get good when you got uh, uh, appliance repair, you got two or three subs that's out there making you several hundred, maybe a thousand dollars a day. You got another little business kicking you off several hundred to a thousand dollars a day, and you don't really have to do anything. That's when it really get good. Cause then it starts to balance out. When one of them slows down, the other one picks up and, and back and forth. And then you really start to uh, really start to have some money to really move and do some stuff. Hey man, I, I hired a guy. <laughs> Today was his first day. Uh huh. He he ain't show up at all. <laughs> I know the feeling. I, I remember one time I. I hired a guy. I picked up. I told him meet me at Lowe's. Um, he got in the van with me at Lowe's. Uh, I, I we got in the van. We started to drive out the parking lot. I looked. He was asleep. I said, "Damn, we just got in the van. He <laughs> sleep." I pulled right a rack around to his car, pulled up, and I blew the horn. He jumped up and said, "We here?" Yeah. I said, "You get back in your car, man. I ain't gonna pay you to sleep." I told him to get back in his car. I told him to leave, man. I. It seemed like I can't get. Uh... I, I don't know. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. And I was paying. Hey, look, I was pay rate was gonna be great. They don't care about that. They don't care about that. So it, it ain't the money. No, nah, it ain't the money. They don't care about that. Um, but they're sleeping in a damn van nowadays. They don't care about money. They don't care about women. So they, money don't mean nothing to them. So hey, let me tell you something else, man. Mm -hmm. People type of way. You hear me? <laughs> I went into a house the other day, man. Uh, when I took the back of the refrigerator off, I, I saw the house was dirty, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, you know, I'm okay. Right? Mm -hmm. I'm okay with being dirty. You know, everybody can't live the same way, you know. Mm -hmm. But when I took the back of that refrigerator off, I was already on my side. <laughs> and uh, roaches? I, a million baby roaches came out of that thing. <laughs> Um, they got on, man, I was just so, I, I, I you know, I, I put the bag back on. I said, hey, man, you, hey, it's rough back there. He said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said, yeah, I know. I was like, well, why, why you let me sit down? There? You know, but anyway, anyway, I, 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 I called the refrigerator. I said, yeah, it needs to be replaced. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, yeah, that thing can't be no good, man. <laughs> Yeah, but but people live any type of way, and most time, you know, I don't say now I don't want to offend nobody, especially when I'm in the house. You know, mm -hmm. you know, you don't want to offend nobody. You're in their house too, nah. Yeah. Watch your mouth. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, but appliance repair give you a good visual. I mean, the same day I go into a million and a half house would be the same day I go into a five thousand mm dollars. -hmm. It'll keep you humble too. Yeah. 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 It's been good to me. Come here, Elias. Come here. Yeah, it's it's been good to me. I can't complain. It's uh it's gonna be it's gonna it's gonna do good. Mm -hmm. Say what's up, Uncle Mike. What's up? Hey, how you doing? Hey. I see you got pit bull beside you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. I'm gonna go in the house, take a shower, watch this draft or something. Oh man, <laughs> I gotta order parts, dog. I got I got order parts too, man. As soon as I get off here, so I'm gonna yeah. wrap it up quick. I appreciate you, man. All right, I'm man. Proud of you. Very proud of you. I'm gonna be down. Maybe maybe not this week. In about two weeks, I'm gonna be coming back up that way. I gotta come see my father-in-law now. I'm gonna come back and check out check your place out again. Hey, bring that paint spray. Oh, okay. You serious? Yeah, you ain't using it, right? No, nah, I ain't using it right now. I'm yeah, not gonna. I'm not gonna need it until I need it probably around 
around maybe September, October. Why, why are you going to need it? Uh, I'm going to try to uh, set that container out there. I'm not going to spray paint that container. All right, man. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, later. the year. Yeah, all right. All right. Break, break it with you, though. I don't, I don't need it long. Cut okay, I'll break it. All right. All right, bro. All right, that's Slick. I want to thank Slick for joining in. And uh, like what you see is, is what a lot of people are doing, uh, the alumni. They're, they're coming in uh, from running their service calls. They watch us on the, on the live as they come in. And uh, that's the life. Uh, he he said just you know, he hit six stops a day, and several of them were, were doubles and triples. He made a made a nice little lift today. Nice lift today. Um, it's this that's a if you if you saw that that's 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 the lifestyle that we, we pretty much all of us have. We coming in from a service running our service calls. We sat down the kids and stuff out there playing. You get the, that's a great life. That is a great life. What you just saw with Slick. Where the kids are there, even the dog was happy. <laughs> the dog don't even look stressed. He ain't barking or have no crazy mess going on. Everybody's happy, and uh, and that's the life that you want. Especially those truckers, those guys who be coming here out of trucking. That's what they want. They want to be able to come home like that. You know, went out there in your own, uh, in your, with your own business and create your own money. You coming home to your family? They happy. Everybody's good. You got other projects going on. You you know nothing. I don't know if anybody who's appliance repair business is actually running and uh, and making money. I don't know if any of them worrying about is a recession coming or anything like that. Right now we're just we're just busy working. These compressors and refrigerators got us so busy. We just we just working. That's it. We just working and just just having, just enjoying life. Um. So uh, I'm gonna read a little bit what we got going in the chat and I'm getting out of here. Uh. What's up, DCNL? Uh, what's up, John Dizak? What's up, AB? Uh, BK from the Rockies. Say, what's up, ABC family and friends? Sega Phonics, what's going on? Say, what's up, family? Paul Brown. Say, what's up, Mike and ABC family? Hey, how you doing? Quentin Hodge. Say, hey, Mike and ABC fam. How you doing? Uh, Mr. Junior Money. What's going on, Mike? What's the word, ABC family? Hey, how you doing? Hey, what's going on, Greg B? Uh, North Carolina Worker. Say, good evening, everyone. Triple R Appliance Repair. Hey, how you doing? Hey, Mike and ABC crew. Hey, how you doing? Bronson Appliance Repair. ABC, what's good? John did that. If you just wanted to do mobile ice cream wagons without a parlor, what would you need to make that ice cream? Um, you you could get your Emory Thompson and set it up in your uh set it up in your house, either in your garage or in your kitchen or someplace like that. You can do that and uh and make your ice cream at your own facility. And transport it out. A lot of people do that, uh, so you can do that. Um, you could put your Emory Thompson in your mobile wagon and, and make it there, and uh, just tie it into your uh, tie it into your uh, the sewer system at your house, um, the water and electric at your house. Make your ice cream there. Then you got freezers inside of it that you, you take it out. So you could do that if you wanted to. Um, that's kind of what I'm going to be showing you all too. If you didn't want to uh, go out and have an actual uh, brick and mortar and you wanted to do like just a uh, ice cream wagon you can do that um and you can make great money or you can if you don't want to make your own ice cream you could go out and you could buy it from uh from bluebell you could buy it from her uh, hershey's and stuff and they'll sell you a three gallon tub for about 45 50 dollars uh you can buy one of their you can buy their tubs and they'll supply you with the ice cream and you go out and scoop it you could do it that way too um, I like to make my own ice cream. I can get flavors and taste that they can't have, and uh, some people actually look forward to. Uh, but yeah, you can do it that way. A lot of people do it that way. Uh, but like I say, you can buy your Emory Tops and set it up in your house. Um, you don't need uh, because you, you know, with ice cream, you not uh, you don't need a lot of uh, a lot of cooking space. You don't need a vent hood or none of that. You just need a, a, a small little concession trailer uh, to get one outfitted uh, for ice cream. Costs you about. Uh, if you're not going to do it yourself, um, you want to get one already done, brand new, costs you about fifteen, twenty thousand 20000 to get one because they're going to make you have uh, uh, walls that you can wipe down and floors that you can wipe down. Um, they're going to make you probably have a three-bay sink in there. And you're going to, um, um, you're going to, uh, they just, right now, food concession trailers, they just charging so much for them. 
Um, a lot of people are getting old horse trailers because they are still, and you can they got the steel on you no know, they steel for the horses and stuff. So that's something you can wash down. And what they're doing, they're just uh, uh, just getting somebody to cut the cut the sides of them so they can open up and close and put a door on them. And they're using those, and they look really good. I actually uh, was looking to do one, but by the time I done it, it was gonna cost me twenty five thirty to get it done. I said, nah, that'll be later on. And actually, the young lady that I actually uh, help her, I open her ice cream pop. She's getting an old horse trailer re, uh, retro, retro uh, resto modded for that. So she's doing that as we speak. Um, so, but I actually wanted someone with some air conditioning in it too, because mine's going to sell. Probably might serve a dual purpose, where if I'm not out there, I'm going to be going out to my little spot in Rocky Mountain, starting off too. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, you wrong, Mona. Uh, putting that uh, stuff out there with these kids. I'm gonna re I'm gonna report your channel. <laughs> uh, Franklin McAdams, what's up, Mike? Hey, how you doing? King K, uh, what's good, Mike and ABC Found? Hey, Mike, you still talking about uh, dropping the book? Yeah, um, we actually signed our papers. I signed papers yesterday. Um, I actually got the video coming out with them. They approving the video that I've done when I was there. Um, the video should drop either tomorrow or over the weekend. Um, we're gonna create some hype around it, and then my book, my book is coming. It's coming out. Yeah, so uh, we got every, all the paperwork is done. I signed my paperwork uh, uh, yesterday. Uh, I saw that they read it, and uh, I, I submitted them the videos. Uh, so uh, until I signed the paperwork, I wasn't gonna submit any videos or anything like that. So I submitted them the videos. Uh, they're looking at it today. Uh, we usually about a day behind, uh, cause you no, know, cause of the time difference. We usually about a day behind. So uh, once they give me the okay with the video, I'll release the videos. We'll do some more stuff together. Then I have the book coming out. What's up, Wild Wheels? What's going on? LG compressors. <laughs> yeah, those LG compressors. I love. Uh, I see that uh, LG uh, refrigerator call or that Kenmore seven nine five come through. I know what it is. Uh, John did that. Soccer is the world sport because it's so cheap for poor kids to play. Just of all the kids play very poor. Yeah, yeah. But uh, what they want, and then they, they always want a grant. Well, we can go get some grant money. No, don't depend on, you know, yes, you need to hold the government accountable and get what's due to you. But that ain't the first thing you go go look for the government to pay. You need to have some pride to do some things on your own. And that was the thing, too. They actually, they actually thought that, uh, that we're getting money, the actual business owner, they thought that we're actually getting some type of grant money or, and some incentives from the actual city or the, or the state to actually buy these builders and renovate them. And I was like, hell no. <laughs> no, what people are doing, they're taking their, they're taking their own hard-earned money and putting it and betting on themselves and putting their stuff out here. That's what they're doing. Um, ain't nobody giving us no incentive to come out here, and we building it up. Um and uh, and that's that's how you do it. You take your money. You go out here. You take your money from your appliance repair business. You're gonna make more than enough money to support your family. That excess money that you have, instead of having that money sitting in a bank account and not drawing any interest, you take that money and redeploy it out and, and to make more money. So the money that I have, like I say, I, I got about twelve about twelve thousand that I'm throwing over here to bring in the mobile part. So instead of me having twelve thousand cash just sitting in the bank, I take the twelve thousand, invest it into to renovating and restoring the actual food trailer, and get that up and going. And then the food trailer now comes in and starts kicking me in an extra three to four thousand dollars a week, you know, going out to events, and that allowed me to uh, spread my uh, to to, um, to spread my reach to get out there to do a lot more. Uh, it allows me then to create more jobs. And I got to have somebody go in those trailers and uh, and take them out there to do these events. Uh, so uh, And now we're giving more stuff for the public to do. Now we're making better stuff for the community. So that's how you build a community. You just don't sit here and wait for, oh, hey, wait for somebody to bring me a job. No, you take your money and go out there and you deploy it and, and do it. Like, I, like the money I, I put into these buildings and stuff. Uh, that was my hard on earned money that I had to take, put it in here and uh, and get it up and going. It's kind of like a farmer. Like I said, if you want to know how business and, and if you ever want to know a, a true definition of faith, look at a farmer. He takes all his money that he has, go buy some seeds and then throw it in the ground. And he has to have enough faith 
um, that those if he do what he's what if he do what supposed to be done to that seed, if he give the right amount of water, he putting it in the in the right soil, he's he's giving it the right amount of sun, he's going there keeping the weeds off of it, and he's tilling it and, and preparing it the way that it said said it is, then you have to have enough faith and believe in God's word that God is going to uh, then take that seed and multiply. He's not going to get just one um, string bean for that one seed he put in there. He's going to get multiple, multiple uh, string, string beans pressed down and, and shaken and overflowed. That's what's going to happen. So you got to have that same thing where you got to be able to say, okay, I'm going to be like the farmer. I'm going to study this and uh, study, uh, say like the, uh, we do the ice cream. But right now, that's why I'm, I'm really into the ice cream right now. I go out and I study uh, mobile concessions. And I, 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 uh, I study the ice cream parlor. And I know I can take my, uh, my, take my, my ice cream parlor concept because it works. I'm going to put it in several different places and it works and it's working here. I can throw it into that mobile trailer. So now if I look at mobile trailers, look at what's the best thing to do, best prices, what I need to have. And I take my money and I dump it into that ground. That's the ground right there. My money was to see that mobile trailer is the ground. I dump my money in there. And now I got to go here and I just can't walk away from it. If I walk away from it, then um, the, the crows will come eat it up. You know, uh, they'll come dig up the seeds up the eagle. Uh, so I got to go out here now and I got to protect that seed. I, uh, just like if, if you had planted, uh, uh, say, like some strain bean slips or whatever, you got to go out there now and you got to put that sevens dust on it to keep the uh, bugs from eating. You got to now, um, you got to now make sure it's getting the right amount of water. If it's not getting water, uh, you got to now go out there and turn the sprinklers on them. You got to chop the grass around away from it. You got to tend to it till it gets strong enough where it can actually produce and then start to bring, bear you a, a bring you in uh, a harvest. And once the string beans start coming, you, you be picking string beans every day and can't keep those string beans off. Same thing um, with me with that uh, uh, ice cream trail. I got to go out here this weekend and I got to uh, rip out all that old stuff. That's the weeds and stuff. And bring it back up to the new stuff and i gotta go out here now and i'm looking for events and i'm lining i'm lining up events they say hey uh i see you have an event on this date uh, i would like to bring my ice cream trailer out there um can i come and people are saying yeah you can come you can come and then eventually once i got them lined up then i start going and i started realizing um the first maybe four or five events i'm gonna have to go out there myself and actually see how they actually work and see uh, see how you make your money, see what's going on there. And then from there, uh, I can start putting somebody back in there and letting them do it for me. Uh, but that's how you actually tend to your seed. And then once it start coming in, it'd be like now with the appliance repair, with the ice cream pile and stuff, where now just money is coming in, coming in all the time. We're going to go there now and pick up some cash. Donnie Madden, what's up, Mike and the ABC fam? Hey, how you doing? DC and Nath Appliance, so true and wow. Well, yeah, it is. Uh, he said he got a compressor next week and this week. What's up now, some Matt? What's up, Good Tech Appliance Repair? All right. What's, what's up, family? Network. Yeah. That man say one thing, be totally different issue. Yeah, talking about those, uh, talking about those, uh, uh, customers. Okay. All right. This is, uh, Greg B says it's like running a relay. They take off from where you handed it to them. Yeah, that's the truth. Uh, when you go and you tell people and you mentor somebody, it's like running a relay race. When you you ever see them do that relay race and, and that person just about to give out and they pass the baton and that person take off like a uh, like uh, like a bat out of hell. That's what happened. You hand it off to them. Yeah, they're gonna take off. They're gonna go fast. They're gonna go fast. But that's where you handed it off to them at. But you have you have to be happy to see that. Okay, Greg B. Say he bought a, a gas saver two weeks ago. He was spending 180 plus a week. So now eighty dollars. He's now running uh, calls a Nissan uh, Juke SUV. Okay. Yeah, I, I've been running them in a little uh, Kia Soul forever. Yep. Uh, Big Money Slick. Uh, a nine Dr. Funk. Yeah, Slick Friend Money Man. He had a good day touching multiple appliances. Yep. Yep. The Infinite Slick. There we go. Uh, BK from the Rockies. Um, uh, it's uh, damn near impossible to do two side businesses in a full time job. I keep running out of time to do everything. Yeah, it is. It is. Wow, we got a lot of people um, going on here. 
Yep, first day, no call, no show. Uh, building a team with the right people is crazy hard. That's why I stay a one man shop. Yeah, I like I like um uh, I, I like about two subs at the most. I like to have. Um, that that's that's a good that's a good thing for me. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, Greg V said the house is nasty. So he don't take his bag off. He go to the vehicle and call and say I can't do. <laughs> there you go. Uh, uh, engineer appliance repair. Say, uh, uh, nah, say, excuse me, sir. I need to get a part from the vehicle and go <laughs> with the roaches. Uh, they, they'll go moaning trying to, uh, get, get her, somebody to do her work. Can y'all order parts for me? Yep. Oh, man. Uh, Wild Williams, he out there on the West Coast. They're going to be late. You got two more LG compressors. Man, you getting the, getting the money in, though, man. Good stuff. I am going to report your channel. You keep doing that stuff. All right. Thompson. He says he, if he sees roaches, he's out. <laughs> okay. Once again, I want to thank everybody for watching. Uh, okay. Um, Mark Co uh, Cochran. I tried to bring my son, but he didn't see the big picture. Uh, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of times the kids don't. Um, uh, they don't. They don't actually see the the big picture, and it takes them a little while. Like I said, my uh, my son is 21, and he's actually starting to come around now. He's starting to come around. Uh, he's coming around to it now. My daughter, man, she 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 has the university and um, liberalism has. She she swallowed the hook wherever they they threw. She she believes it. She thinks that I uh, I take advantage of of the poor. Uh, she said, I, I, I'm selling ice cream and I can't, I have, what she tell me, you have money from two or three different businesses and stuff. You can give, you can afford to give ice cream away for free. <laughs> like, I can't. And so then uh, I tell her this, I said, well, the money, she, she does a lot of my events. Where she does all my events, really. So I tell her, the money you get in your paycheck, you come out there and you hand it out to the kids and give it to them. I will. But I, the thing about it, don't come ask me to pay for nothing else. You take your money and you give it to the kids. So uh, she, she's, uh, 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 she's, uh, she, she, she's, I, I have to work with her really hard. Uh, I, I feel sometimes we're kind of like uh, uh, Archie Bunker, <laughs> uh, him and his daughter. You know, Archie was this guy that uh, had uh, a, a pretty much a bigot, but his daughter was real liberal and <laughs> stuff. So, I feel that's the way uh, my daughter and I are. Uh, my youngest daughter, uh, man, we we have some we have some goals and some great discussions. Um, but uh, like I say, the, the kids did come around, and uh, and that was one of the things that I was telling telling my wife and, and my sister in law. Uh, what I would love to do, I would love to be able to build uh, at least at least four of these ice cream parlors. Give one to uh, each one of my kids. Um, and I would love to give one to my sister-in-law. Uh, she she pretty much done been with us uh, uh, coming every summer and ever since she was a little girl, been staying with us doing everything for us. So I love to do that and show them because, like I was telling them, you know, uh, you know, it doesn't require a lot of stuff, but if you had one of these running for you and you know you went out and worked in corporate America and stuff like that, you could you could you could you could really do some great stuff uh, for you and your family. Um, it, it's, I think it's a little better than actually, uh, it might be a little bit better than, than a subway because you don't have so much of, you don't have no royalties uh, for one that you have to pay. Um, and it doesn't require as much money to start up as a subway. And, uh, and I, I think, I think it's, uh, I think it's, I think, I think it's, uh, just as good as a subway. Uh, and, and you got no franchise fees and you can actually take it out. Uh, and, uh, and 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 span and it, it's it's great possibility. So you'll see me in the next couple of months. Actually, you're gonna see me building out the. Uh, I got a couple of videos I'm gonna be doing with the concession trailer of me actually building it out and um, and getting it. Uh, you'll see the one that I was gonna get. The one that I was gonna get didn't have anything. It, I, I would need it to, uh, to get the one, to get a brand new one after I bought that one. I was gonna have to put a three base sink. I was going to have to put a, 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 the, the clean water drinking tank. I was going to have to put the actual uh, uh, drain water tank in there. 
I was gonna have to put an air conditioner in there. I was gonna have to do all this stuff. This one right here has everything ready to go. All I gotta do is just uh just uh change the electrical wiring and bring it up bring it up to date. Um put some LED lights in there, um, put a nice wrap on it. Um and I wanted it to, to look like the old carnival. I wanted it to be retro. I didn't want it to look brand new, like something new today. I wanted it to look something retro that we, we bring it out. And um and so that's that's what we got. Uh, once again, I want to thank everybody for watching. If you hadn't already, please go uh, click the link in the description. Sign up for Applies Bootcamp. Let me uh, show you how to start your own Applies Repair business. Um, so you can get out here and you can start creating generational wealth for you and your family. Um, this weekend is uh, going to be a, a great weekend. Um, I'm excited. I get the I got to go back out to the actual uh, uh, food court and, and and fix the refrigerator door. I'm going to get to work on my truck. <laughs> uh, uh, I get to work on my channel truck. I always love to do that. Um, that's, that's, I have a fun with the channel truck. Uh, I've been driving it. Um, like I said, it has the, the electronic fuel injection in it. So with that, the, um, you have to drive it, uh, like every three, four, you got to drive it three, four hundred miles. And what happened, the computer and the fuel injection actually starts to talk. It's talking to the transmission and the motor and it's actually, the, the fuel injector is actually uh, figuring stuff out, and uh, and it's kind of like reprogramming itself constantly. And it's just about to the point it's good, uh, where uh, uh, it's it's to the point now where uh, I can you know is I can just turn the key, it starts right up. I could almost, I think if I if I I'm afraid that because of the tires are so big and the mud grips on, it, uh, I'm afraid that if I really stumped it. Uh, it might would it might would break the axle or um or the drive shaft. It might it might would twist the drive shaft or, or break the axle. But it, it 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 would it would smoke those it would smoke those tires if I actually just stomped it. It would actually uh, make those tires spin. And I'm I'm enjoying it. So I'm gonna uh, actually do some stuff um in there. Put me a charger in there. Uh, gonna um do a little bit more creature comfort stuff that I uh, I wanted to do. I'm gonna also uh. Uh, lower the uh, the shifter a little bit, so I get to work on that. Um, then I get to jump on my um, actual uh, trailer and start ripping that out. Next week I'm gonna be down in Rocky Mount, um, getting ready to start pushing down those houses, getting that stuff going. So you're gonna start seeing me going into my real estate next week too. So next week you're gonna see my real estate. You're gonna see the concession trailer. You're gonna see applies uh, applies uh, applies boot camp and seeing us bring on um, uh, Keith and, and showing them. You're going to see the book starting to get ready to come out. So we got a lot of stuff that we're going to be doing here in the very near future. And it's going to be great. And um, I, I just want to thank you all again for allowing me to be able to do this. I love it. I love it. I'm, I'm, I'm actually I'm actually like a, a kid in a candy store. I get to do all the fun things I love to do. I'm getting to actually work on vehicles, get to do some resto modding to this little trailer, getting – uh, to work on my houses, getting to, to actually teach, getting to go out here and talk and run my mouth, which I love to do. Uh, so I'm, I'm just I'm just very happy and grateful to be able to have this opportunity. Once again, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all on Monday. Uh, I'll read this one. Let's see. Uh, what do you think about the ice cream cart? Do you think it make good money with that? Yeah, you can. You can. Um, the thing of it is you want to be in an area – um, where uh, it's, it's like a like with me, I find out uh, if I'm in an area that got anywhere close to about a thousand people there, um, I can get somewhere right around maybe two to two to three thousand dollars. If they got if I got about a thousand people coming through, um, I, I can make my number. I can make my number. So um, you just got to make sure you got enough product in there to sell and keep moving, um, and that you have enough people to sell to. But yeah, you can do it. And the thing about going to the events, the events are usually about two to three hours. So you ain't got to be there all day. You just load up, show, uh, show up to the event. Once the event's over with, man, you knock, you knock the, you knock the, you, uh, you, you load up and go. Uh, so, but once again, I want to thank everybody for watching and I'll see you all on Monday. Bye bye.